Let's go to Ecclesiastes 7 and 9. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry. So don't be so quick to get angry. For anger resteth in the bosom of fools. So foolish people stay angry all the time. And you may say that you are not a fool. Well, the Bible is saying that anger is always with fools. Always. So if you are always angry, the Bible is saying that you are a fool. Have you ever met people who stay angry all the time or look for reasons to get angry. I have. For instance, you may say to an angry person like something random, hey, I am going to the store. Then that angry person may turn around and say, what? What did you just say? Then you may think to yourself, what is wrong with this person? <laughs> then you say to this person, I am going to the store. Why are you telling me? I don't care. <laughs> what is going on? You will find when that person acts in an abnormal way, you are going to find that usually those type of people have psychological issues. It's true. It is true. If you find a person, let me get off topic a little bit. If you find a person that tries to be overly tough, like that tries fighting everyone and <laughs> saying rude or mean things to everyone, that person has a psychological problem. Something hurtful happened to that person back in the past, so that person feels the need to make himself seem tough. Or if you find a person that always criticizes people in a very mean way, like for no reason, just out of the nowhere, out of nowhere, they just want to criticize people. That person has a psychological problem because it is not normal to criticize people all day, every day. It is not normal. It is, yes, it is not normal to be angry all the time. It is not normal to make yourself seem so tough. Like, you know, I'm... I'm a tough guy, so I have this mean look on my face, and, you know, if you come up to me, I am going to punch you. Psychological problems. It is not normal. Why do you feel the need to look tough or act like you are tough? If you are tough, you would not have to show it. There are many tough people out there, and you won't even know it because... If you are tough, it is going to show by action. Trying to prove that you are tough, like trying to fight everybody or yell at people and stuff like that, you are not tough. You are hurt. Right up here. Anything abnormal points out a psychological problem. I'm telling you. Let's go back to our topic with anger. A person who's always angry or tries so hard to be offended by what people say, that points out a psychological problem. A demonic problem. Because it is not normal to look for things to be offended. It is not normal to be hyper sensitive, like overly 
sensitive, not just like a normal sensitivity, no, an abnormal, like, I am so hurt, you hurt me. I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> I'm just hurt. Like you find reasons to get hurt. Like everything is fine and your your uh, day is not going well unless you get hurt by someone. Like, hey, I have not got hurt yet, so let me talk to a person and get hurt. <laughs> like that. Does this make any sense? It is abnormal. Psychological issues. Let's get back on topic. Give me a second, please. For anger resteth in the bosom of fools. So foolish people stay angry. So what is this saying? If you know that a person is always angry, what should you do? Now, I am not saying that you should not go by that person and minister to that person about God. What I am saying, the best thing that you can really do for people like that is pray for them. Because what is coming to my mind now, usually with these people who stay angry all the time, what's coming to my mind now they have pride as well yes so you have a person who stays angry all the time along with pride there is no way that you can really be at peace with a person like that like when you talk to people like that especially a person that has pride you really need to pray before you talk to people like this because what is coming to me now is people who stay angry all the time have a lot of pride I'm telling you so a prideful angry person who probably hates the world and if you come to that person and say that you need God that person is going to blow up what get out of my face you know so I really hope this makes sense anger lies within foolish people this is what the Bible is saying not Kevin, but the Bible. So you can't get mad at me. Well, you can if you want to. <laughs> Just join the list. <laughs> okay. God bless.